Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Jack Sparrow. So we get started with the eyes. Let's draw two curves for the eyelids. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a curve coming from the outside towards the inside. Going up in the middle and just in and down. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. We're going to leave a gap in the middle here. Starting on the inside, we'll curve up and out. Let's go ahead and tuck the eyeballs in underneath the eyelids. So on the left side, we're going to leave a little overlap. We're going to draw a half circle coming down to the bottom and then back up to the top. So there's a little overhang on both sides. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Starting from the inside, curve down to the bottom, then back up to the top. From here, let's draw in a little circle on the top left for a highlight. So on the left side here, draw a circle. On the right side, we'll draw that same size circle. And we're gonna tuck the pupil in underneath. So at the bottom of this highlight, I just wanna draw a circle going up and underneath the eyelid. We'll go ahead and color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So at the bottom of the highlight, we're going to circle around and then tuck this in underneath the eyelid. We'll go ahead and color that in black. He's got some really thick eyeliner underneath each eye. So we're going to go ahead and just thicken up the outside edge coming up into the inside. So from the outside edge, this point on the eyelid, we're going to circle around the eye, kind of come down a little bit lower, so it gets a little bit thicker down here. And we're going to pull this up and then just blend this into the inside of the eye. We're going to color that in black. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to start on the inside this time, circle around to the bottom, and make our way up to the outside edge of the eye. We'll go ahead and color that in black as well. We're going to move in between the eyes and draw on the nose. So just down here, we're going to draw a little U-shape. Like this. And then on the other side, we'll draw the nostril. So from the left side point, we're going to step down just a little and just curve around, almost like a C-shape. Do the same thing on the right side. From here, we're going to move down and draw on the mouth. Now, I'm going to give him a bit of a smirk. So we're going to shift the mouth over towards the left side. Starting out here, I'm going to curve down, and then just stop right about there. Underneath the mouth, we're going to step down and just draw a little curve for the bottom of the lip. Let's layer in the mustache underneath the nose and above the mouth. So at the corner of this mouth, we're going to curve up towards the tip of the nose, leaving a little gap. We'll curve down towards the right side. Now, for the top of the mustache, just on the side of this nostril, we're going to curve out. So it's a nice little swoop coming down. And then from here, we're going to curve down just to the side of the mouth. And we're going to pull this up to the corner of the mouth, like that. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So at the bottom here, I'm going to curve down. Now I'm going to curve up, just like I did on the left side, curving up. Now because the mouth is shifted, we're going to curve this up just underneath the nostril on the right side. We're going to go ahead and color that in black. Underneath this lip, we're just going to draw a little V-shape, almost like an upside-down triangle. A little goatee. We'll color that in black as well. From here, let's draw in the line for the lower part of the bandana above the head. So on the left side, out here, we want to go beyond the eye. Out here, just curve down towards the center of the face and then back up on the right side. So we're just going to curve down and then back up on the right side. From here, let's give him a little bit of an eyebrow, just kind of poking out underneath. So right in here, I'm just going to draw an angled line coming down, and then we'll pull that up. It's almost like a V shape, sort of an angled V. We'll color that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So angling in, then angling back up, we'll color that in black. From here, let's start layering in some of the dreadlocks that come down beside the face. So on the left side here, just beside the eye, I'm going to curve down and in, and then I'll curve out in the opposite direction. I'm going to draw that twice. So going to the edge of the bandana, we're going to curve and just follow that along all the way down towards the bottom. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve, curving around like that. Let's continue and just layer in some more dreadlocks down here. So on the top here, we're just going to curve out and just start following that same curve, but just pulling it outwards. 
We're gonna follow that same thing again, just trying to keep that thickness consistent. We'll connect the bottoms with that same curve, and then we'll do one more here. So right here, curve out, down, and then out again. We'll do that one more time. We're gonna just draw the inside of that dreadlock, and then we'll just connect it with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. But here we're gonna draw some beads along the way. So starting at the top, just beside the eye here, we're gonna curve down and in. Now here I wanna draw the same thing again. So right up here, I'm gonna curve down and in. We're gonna stop right there. We're gonna add some beads. So right here I'm just gonna draw a curve, connecting those two points. Now from here, I'm just gonna curve and round out the sides. Like that. And then we're gonna connect those two points with a straight line. And we're going to continue some more beads along here. So I'm going to draw another curve going out. We'll connect it with a straight line. And we'll do one more. So from this point to this point, we're just going to connect it with a curve that goes all the way around like that. Let's continue this dreadlock all the way down. So on the bottom of this bead, we're just going to curve down and out. We'll continue that on the other side. So just duplicating it. And we'll connect the two bottoms with a curve. It goes around like that. Let's draw another dreadlock on the side here. So up here, we're going to curve out, down, and then just flare it out again. We'll draw just the bottom part of this coming out. We'll connect it with a curve. We'll add one more. So on the side here, we're going to curve down and then out. And it's okay if it extends beyond that because it kind of gives this nice layered look. Down here, we're just going to extend it beyond and then connect it with a curve like that. Along these dreads, I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. So we're going to show some little bit of like the little bands that go across here. So right here, I'm just going to draw a curve that goes up. And we're just going to duplicate that. Now we're going to change the angles. Curving down, making it twice as thick. And we'll just work our way up with just a few of those. Over here, I'll probably add one going across with a little curve. Down here, we'll draw another curve like that. From here, let's draw on the bottom of the chin. So the chin is quite high, so it's basically just a little curve that goes from left to right, connecting the two dreads. So on the left side here, we're going to curve down towards the chin, and curve back up on the right side. Over here on the left cheek, we're going to draw a little scar, and it looks like basically just an X. Just draw a little X like that. Let's add the two-pointed goatee that comes down on the chin here. So on the left side, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and in. On the right, We'll do the same thing. Now we're going to draw a few little beads along the way here. So at the bottom of this line, we'll draw a circle. We'll draw one more circle just below it. We'll do the same thing on the right side. We're drawing a little circle. Then below that, we'll draw another circle. Now we're going to connect these two points. So we're going to step over at the top of this bead. And just draw a little bridge going across like that. We'll color the top area in black. At the bottom here, we just want to draw just the tips of the beard. So right here, it almost looks like a tip of a paintbrush. So we draw a little S shape first. And at the top again, we're just going to curve right in towards that point, And we'll color that in black. Let's do that again on this side here. So again, starting at the bottom of this bead, do a little S shape. Going back to the top, we're just going to curve down to that point, And we'll color that in black. Now before I draw the top of the bandana, he's got this sort of this long bone hairpin that comes across the forehead this way. So the head is going to be a big sort of like a half circle that comes up like this. So at the top of it right here, I'm going to draw a circle with an open end on the bottom left side here. We draw a smaller circle on the inside. Now I'm going to draw the bone pin coming across here just over this little corner. So I'm going to take this point. Draw an angle line coming down and just touching that corner. I'm just going to pull it in towards a point, so bending at the end. On this side, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to start by drawing a straight line, following along, and I'm just going to make my way to that point. Up here, let's just draw a little string. So just two lines side by side. From here, I'm going to draw in the sides of the bandana coming up. So again, the head is basically like a big half circle that comes up. I'm going to draw two curves going up to right about here. So on the left side, right here, we're going to go up above the pin and curve up and in. On the right side, we're going to do the same thing. So curving up and in to the same height. We'll connect those two points with a curve that goes behind this pin. Curving in behind. It's going to go higher in the middle and then down on the right side. We're going to layer the top of the hair in behind here. So we're going to step in on the left, go behind the hairpin, 
going around and then just pulling that in so there's a slight overlap on the right side. Just down on top of the headband, there's this little dangling ornament that comes down from the top. So we start up here and it looks like almost like a bone shape. So right here I'm going to draw a curve, almost like a C shape. I'll do the opposite on the right side. We're going to come down from these two points in an angle, coming down like that. I'm going to duplicate this but flip it over. So from here I'm going to curve around and then curve in the opposite direction to connect with that point there. Now we're going to draw some beads. So under here I'm going to draw like a circle, I'll draw another circle below that. And then I'm going to draw a little medallion at the end, so a bigger circle down here. We're just going to trim this out, so on the inside we're just going to trace out with a smaller circle inside. Up here if you want to connect it, all you need to do is just draw a little hook that goes over the top of the bandana there. Let's add some more dreadlocks coming on the side here, so the hair sort of swoops over this way. So on the side of the head, just beside this pin, I'm going to curve down beside the head and then curve it outwards. So over here we're going to curve out, down, and then behind the pin, now it's going to curve outwards, so at the bottom of the pin, we'll curve out. I'm going to round up the tip, and then just pull that back in. Up here, I'm just going to fold along the side, just to thicken up the dreadlock like that. We're going to add a couple more. So up here at the top of the pin, we're going to go out, come down, and then just pull it outwards. Again, we're going to round up the tip, and then pull that in behind the front dread. We'll layer some more in the back here, so at the top of the head, go up, and then right about here we're just going to pull that in behind. We'll do one more. So at the top of this curve, I'm just going to curve out in behind the head. Now that we've got the head, I'm going to start with the body. So on the sides of the head here, we're going to curve down towards the waist. And the waist I'm going to draw pretty high. So on this side of the goatee, we're going to curve down and out. On the right, we'll curve down and outwards. We're going to connect those two points with a curve along the bottom. This is the top area of the belt, going across like that. We're going to draw the handle of his musket just tucked in underneath the belt, and we're going to keep this very simple. So right here, we're going to curve up and out towards the left. We're going to round out the side, and we're going to pull that back in. Pulling that back in like that. To add some detail right here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like that. Draw a little rivet if you like, just a little circle inside. Now let's add the strap that goes across the body. So from the corner of the top of the body here, we're going to curve down behind that goatee and then down to the side of the body right here. We draw that twice. Now it's going to go a little bit higher, so up here, going behind that bead and curve across the body like that. We're going to add some buckles here. So right in here in the middle, we'll add two angled lines going like that. Down here, we're going to draw a little curve for the bottom of the strap. In behind, you're going to see a little bit of a vest. So in the middle, at the bottom here, we're going to curve up behind the belt and underneath the chin. We're going to do the same thing on the left side, but this is going to go upwards and tuck in underneath the goatee and the strap. We'll add an undershirt underneath. So right here, we're going to curve across, just following that same curve down to here, and we're going to trace this back up. Now if I'm going a little bit too fast, you can always pause the video, get caught up and start up again. Let's add a little sash at the bottom here. So on the side, the corner of the body here, we're going to draw a curve coming down. I'm going to draw that twice. So I'm going to step over and curve down. Connect those two points with the curve coming down at the bottom. Up here, I want to show that it's wrinkling, so we're going to draw two little curves coming down like that. Let's draw the back side of this. So right here beside that top, we're going to curve down and go a little bit lower. We're going to go across and then tuck this in underneath the bottom. Underneath here, we're going to layer in a belt. So from this corner, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming down. We're going to curve this in behind the sash, going across like that. In the middle here, we're going to add a little buckle. So two lines coming down. Now we're going to trace this rectangle out on the inside. Like that. We'll add a little buckle strap here. So two lines side by side. Now let's draw in the legs. So in the middle here, in the bottom, we're going to draw in the curve for the lower torso, just going from left to right. Now because he's got some really high boots, we're going to draw two curves for the inside of the leg. So from here on the left side, we're going to step over towards the right. Let's draw a short curve coming down. On the right, we'll do the same thing, so curving down. Now we're going to draw the top edge of the boot cuff. So curving across, from left to right, we'll curve the right side underneath the sash. This point here, we're going to curve up towards the hip, the bottom of that belt, right there. Now for the top of the boot, because it flares out, we take this corner, curve down and in. 
on the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving down and in. This side here, we're going to curve around the bottom of the boot cuff. Just sort of fall on that same curve here, but we're going to go a little bit further out because we want to curve this back in. So there's a little bit of a bump coming out. We'll do the same thing on this side. So curving out the bottom of the cuff, and we're going to tuck this in underneath the sash. For the boots, now the boots are smaller than the actual cuff. So from this corner, we're going to step over towards the left, curve down. On the right, we're going to step over towards the right, curve down. These are the heels. So now we're going to draw on the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we draw a little curve going across on both sides. Now we're going to tuck this in underneath the boot cuff. So from here, we're going to curve up and underneath. So a little overhang there. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving across. We're going to thicken up the sole. So right up here, we're going to draw that same curve along the bottom, just to give the sole some thickness. Across like that. And we're going to add a little bit of a sideways belt here. So right here on the side of the leg, we're going to curve up underneath the belt, step down, and then we're going to draw that twice. We're going to finish this drawing off with the arms. So we're going to have them hanging down. He's got some really puffy sleeves. So we're going to start with the inside of the arm on the left side. So just down here, to curve down. From this point, we want to flare out. So we're coming in this way. We're going to round out the bottom. So from here, we're going to draw a big curve going to the outside of the arm. Now from here, we want to curve back in to the same height as we have on the inside. So just curving up like that. We'll connect those two points with a curve. Now from this point, this is the outside of the arm. We're going to tuck this in underneath the head. So we're just going to curve up behind the dread and then just continue underneath the head. Over here, let's tuck in the fingers underneath here. So right here, underneath this cuff, we'll draw a little curve. This is for the thumb. We'll draw a little bracket. Now at the bottom of that thumb, we're just gonna swirl around the bracket. We're gonna step down and layer in the fingers. So one, and then one final one, we're gonna tuck in underneath the cuff. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the same height, curve down. Now we're gonna flare out the cuff coming in, and we'll draw on the bottom of the cuff, going all the way to the outside. We're going to come back in with a curve. We'll connect those two points, again with a curve like that, and then the outside of the arm, it's going to go in behind this dread, and we want to sort of make sure we sort of line this up so the space and the gap between the arm and the body is the same. Let's finish off with a hand. So right here, start with the curve for the thumb, draw a little bracket, at the bottom of the thumb, we'll curve around the bracket, do another overlap, and one final one tucked in underneath the cuff. So that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.